Beneath the surface of the United Kingdom lie huge shale gas deposits. The British government believes this gas could transform UK industry, making the country energy independent and creating tens of thousands of new jobs in manufacturing. As one of the world's largest chemical groups, INEOS plans to lead the UK shale gas revolution. INEOS has submitted bids for a large number of petroleum exploration and development licenses and we intend to invest a billion dollars in the exploration and appraisal of the UK's shale resources. The prime shale areas are in the north of England and Scotland. These are areas that not only have an understanding of the extractive industries, but they're also areas that are actively in need of new investment and regeneration. INEOS is already a majority owner in two of the most impressive pedal licences in Scotland. These are both close to the huge manufacturing facility at Grangemouth, employing some 1,300 people. The two licences that we've already acquired put us in a very strong position, and we can use the gas that we extract both as a fuel and as a raw material as the ethane from the North Sea declines. INEOS has a huge advantage over its rivals, as it is one of the few companies in the UK able to use shale gas, both as an energy source and as raw materials for the plastics and petrochemicals it makes at the site. It's also very important to us that we work closely with the local communities in the areas where we extract the gas. We want to make sure that they're entirely comfortable with everything that we're doing and that they can see that we are a safe and responsible company. Two months ago, INEOS made a game-changing announcement. Unlike any of its peers, the company says it will give local communities 6% of its shale gas revenues, 4% to home and landowners above the well, and 2% to the wider community. Over the 25 years of this project, INEOS expects to give away literally billions of pounds. If the communities get to share in the benefit, Shale will be a success in the UK, and if they don't, I think it will be a long time before we, uh, we, we get past the negative. What we would like to do is, is try to emulate the position we see in the United States, where the communities directly see a benefit from shale. We would like to give two and a half billion pounds in the next 10 to 15 years to the local communities. It's a generous offer. It's a much better offer than anybody else has put on the table in the UK. A village or a small town in the north of England, in one of the shale areas. The sort of magnitude of money that would come their way would be about 350, 400 million pounds over a 10, 15 year period. These amounts of monies would be transformational for those communities. When the offer of 6% was explained and a commitment was given to consult with communities about the technology used, a YouGov survey found that 50% of a sample of 6,000 people nationwide said that they would now support shale gas extraction. The number opposing shale gas extraction, described as fracking, fell to just 32%. Attitudes are becoming more positive. The UK public is beginning to understand that the shale gas extraction process involves less disruption and risk than they originally thought. This is a finished site, completed about two years ago. This is how it all finishes up. It's quite noisy during the, the actual frack, which takes about a week. And there's a bit of commotion when they're doing the drilling, but the, the finished article, there's no noise. It, visually, there's very little impact on the, the countryside here. It's really insubstantial, as you can see. At INEOS, safety is our highest priority, wherever we operate. To ensure that this extends below ground, the business has hired three of the world's leading shale gas experts from Mitchell Energy. We are really fortunate to have recruited three of the best shale gas experts in the world. These guys wrote the book on safe shale gas exploration and development. With these guys on board and with INEOS's capability in handling complex petrochemical processes, people can be very sure that we'll do things right. But INEOS is not planning to just wait for the UK shale gas revolution to begin. It is already investing £400 million in bringing shale gas from the USA to Scotland. This extraordinary project has involved the construction of over 300 miles of pipeline to transport gas from the Marcellus Shale in West Pennsylvania to a newly constructed site at the Marcus Hook shipping terminal in Philadelphia. To transport this gas across the Atlantic, 
INEOS has commissioned a brand new fleet of Dragon-class ethane tankers that have been constructed in China. Each of these state-of-the-art tankers is designed to transport up to 15,000 tonnes of cryogenically cooled shale gas to the biggest ethane terminals in Europe, being constructed at Rafnes in Norway and right here at Grangemouth. Well, this is a fantastic project because it's going to take Grangemouth back into the Premier League of petrochemical sites in all of Europe. So what we're doing in the short and medium term is we're going after U.S. shale gas, U.S. ethane. As soon as the shale gas from the U.S. arrives at this site, we're going to actually go from loss-making to profitability overnight. And all that means for job security and for investment opportunities in the future. But we think it makes a lot of sense longer term to go after an indigenous ethane feedstock. And we think that would be transformational for Grangemouth. And not just for Grangemouth, we think it would be transformational for UK manufacturing. INEOS is completely committed to the shale gas revolution. The company has seen how shale gas has transformed the US manufacturing industry, tackling its long-term decline, giving it a vibrant future. The next move for INEOS is to secure a leading role in the emerging shale gas market here in the UK.